Well, it's finally over. The last movie we in the Jason series. finally watched the final chapter. <laughs> well, I guess okay. that's all we got. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> Paul? There's six more movies after this. I feel... Well, we're the Super Bowl of self-punishment. <laughs> A real insult used in this movie. This is the movie that they officially gave up trying. Like I, I know, I know it would seem like Jason 3D would be the the movie that they stopped trying, but no. This is it. There was I no really, effort. Put I wouldn't into really this. call two and three trying. But this is the one where you, you realize that, like, it's no longer taking itself seriously. Yeah. Um. So this was supposed to be the last movie? You sure? Well, actually, Friday the 13th was supposed to be the last movie. Then Friday the 13th Part 3 was supposed to be the last movie. Then this was supposed to be the last movie. And then they made six more. <laughs> Good job, guys. Way to hold your ground on that one. <laughs> like, you know, at, at each stage, I, I imagine them telling the producers, it's like, no, guys, seriously, we don't want to make any more of these. It's like, no, 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 you got two or three. You got two or three more. No, this is the last one. The last one. <laughs> no oh, more. <laughs> okay, but this is the final chapter. I understood that reference. <laughs> um, Just, ugh. This one was, like, really bad, but it was kind of funny in how bad it was. Yeah, yeah, like, if, if, you're, if you've got a group of friends who's into watching bad movies, I would suggest this. It's not, it's, you know... I feel like they could do better, and I feel like going forward, there will be dumber. Yeah, I mean, this one didn't have a whole lot of stupid stuff in it. It besides had just the, enough. It, yeah, right there at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a kid in this, like, they, this actually had some big stars Corey in it. Feldman. <laughs> Corey Feldman. And Crispin Glover. And Crispin Glover. Corey, uh, Crispin Glover was the kid, right? No. Corey, Corey Feldman, Feldman was, was the kid. Corey Feldman Crispin was Glo the kid, and he, for some reason, made a bunch of masks. Although, it wasn't put into the story all that neatly, so it just sort of seemed like it was stuff that Tom Savini had in the back of his workshop. But he had no other movie to put it in, so he just decided, "Hey, I've got. I'll write a kid character in this movie, or something like that." And it so it serves no purpose to the plot, because it almost seems like they're projecting, like, "Oh, the masks are gonna do something." Yeah, yeah. But they don't. Chekhov's mask. <laughs> like this series is famous for like showing off something in the first act and then having the payoff in the in the last act. That's something that. We've seen for the fa for the past three movies, and then it just doesn't do it. I mean, <sighs> this movie frustrates me on a lot of levels. But at the same time, as soon as I realized that it wasn't trying, I stopped caring. And it made it a lot more fun for me to watch. Yeah. You, <laughs> you have to get on the same level of not caring this movie is on. Yeah. It's... It's not even on Friday the 13th anymore. <laughs> like, one was on Friday the 13th, I think two was supposed to be on Friday the 13th, but then three picked up immediately where two picked, left off, so three is on Saturday, and then... This one picked up immediately at, like, the night yeah, after. Yeah, like, the night after. So it starts on Sunday, and then most of the killing is on Monday. So half of the movies... Or on Friday the 13th. At this point in the series. At this point in the series, yeah, but... And, and of course, they, they carry on the tradition of showing you the last five minutes of the previous movie, except they didn't do that in this one. They just mashed together the last three movies in some sort of montage, not really to give you a sense of where you're at in the story, just to tell you that, oh, hey, Jason's here and he's a bad guy. It's like, thanks, Jason movie. Jason kills people. Let's get that clip. Let's do a montage of Jason's best kills. Remember when he killed the dude doing a handstand? And when he I do. 
<laughs> and when he macheted the wheelchair dude in the face and he fell down a hole that was things. hilarious I'm glad, was like, I'm glad they showed that one again because that was funny <laughs> that was the silliest death that they could have shown and they put it in the recap to add suspense to the series oh man but yeah that was it was Friday the 13th the final chapter you know how long it took them to make another Friday the 13th how many how long? Guess how long? Three years. One year. <laughs> Part 5 came out one year after this. Matt. <laughs> Fun fact. What are we going to do with these people? F between, uh, f during the entire 80s, from 1980 to 1989, there was a Halloween, Friday the 13th, or Nightmare on Elm Street movie every year except 83. Eighty three is the only year without one of these. Is that why we're going through all these? Because they all there was there was a movie every year in the eighties. Yeah. For some reason. There were. I want to say eighty seven and eighty eight had all three. That's crazy. Anyway. Um, well, any final thoughts on the final chapter? No. <laughs> no. This movie didn't put any thought into its movie, so I'm not going to put in any thought into this review. Okay. Well, we'll see you in uh, Friday the 13th, the first Fr epilogue. What is that? Is that really it? No, it's called A New Beginning. Oh. Look, you see, because the first four movies are their own little story, and then the next six movies are their own story. I suppose maybe the next, like, it's five through eight were all called Friday the 13th, and after that they switched to Jason. Oh, okay. So maybe it was like, these four, and then the next four are their own story. And Have then... you seen these? Is, is that what, are we predicting what's going to happen next movie? I haven't seen these. Alright, I'm going to make a prediction. Okay. The kid is going to be the new Jason. I, I can almost guarantee that's true. All right, but then Jason's gonna come back for the last two. Jason's gonna come back in part six, cause it's called Jason Lives. Oh, spoilers! Matt, come on, you don't want to spoil these movies for them. They're masterpieces. No, they're not. 